everyone and welcome back to Do It Girl. So now's the season where everybody gets together to celebrate the hard work they've accomplished with the promise of moving on to bigger and better things. That's right, it is graduation season. Which means spending a bunch of money on framing a diploma just so it looks like everybody else's? I don't think so. Brag about your brilliance and style as I show you how to make your own personalized float frame. Let's do it, girl. Okay, so the first tool that you're going to need is a shadow box frame. The size of your frame naturally depends on your second tool, which is what you want to get framed. Whether it's a diploma, a large picture, or a graduation certificate from the Upright Citizens Brigade Improv Theater. That's right, I got skills. A good rule of thumb is to buy a shadow box that's at least two inches longer and wider than your diploma. So for example, my certificate is eight and a half by 11 inches, so I bought a shadow box that's 11 by 14 inches. You'll also need spray adhesive, Velcro dots, a box cutter and cutting mat, newspaper to keep things clean, and one sheet of foam core that's about a half an inch wide. Now the foam core is supposed to be smaller than your photo or diploma, but they usually are sold in large sheets which is perfectly fine because it's not that expensive and we'll be cutting it down anyway. Warning, disclaimer, yield, caution. Once you do this craft, your certificate is going to have stuff permanently attached to it. So I recommend scanning it or something like that if you want a non-framed copy for future reference. The idea is that the frame you're going to make is going to be a long-lasting home for your certificate. It's now time to tame the frame. Step one. The first step is to cut your foam core so that it's smaller than your diploma or photo like I mentioned earlier. You'll want your foam core to be about a half an inch shorter in both length and width. So I'm going to cut my foam cord down to be eight by ten and a half inches wide. Feel free to keep things simple by just eyeballing everything. All that matters is that the foam cord stays smaller than the diploma. Step two, feel free to put down newspaper in your workstation to keep things clean. Then, making sure your foam cord is evenly aligned to the center of your frame, cover your foam cord with your spray glue. Then adhere the foam cord to the back of the frame. This is what will make the image look like it's floating in the middle of the frame. So something that's fun about crafts is that it's always changing. Um, I was actually going to just use one piece of foam core that was a half an inch, but after spray gluing my first one, I realized that I want it to be an inch thick. So instead of running all the way out to the craft store, I'm going to actually just glue another half inch one on top of a half inch one to make it an inch thick. So really eyeball it to whatever you think looks best, whether it's a half an inch or an inch. Step three, place your plastic Velcro circles onto the four corners of your foam core so that they nearly touch the edges. Then attach your four soft Velcro circles onto the plastic Velcro circles, sticky side up. Step four, now's the time to connect the dots. Literally. Line up your diploma evenly over the foam core and push down so that it attaches to the sticky side of your Velcro dots. Push everything together firmly with your fingers. When you lift your picture, you'll see that your Velcro dots will now fit perfectly behind it. Step five, place your newly attached diploma and foam core into the shadow box frame by replacing the backing from whence it came. And voila, a professional and yet perfectly personal craft for under $20. This makes a great graduation gift or birthday gift or anytime gift, really. Like I said, this is a fantastic way for you to shine your accolades bright for everyone to see. And since we're putting Velcro on this photo, that means that you can add Velcro to even more photos and then swap them out whenever you like. And confession, I wanted to do this craft not just for my graduation certificate, but also for this personalized drawing that the girl team made me for Sea Girl Try. To add in my own personal touch, I even painted the frame this burnt orange red color that they colored my hair. So feel free to make your frame any which way you like. What did you end up Framing and how fancy did you get? Tweet me at Jamie Petito, Instagram me at Hey Jamie, or just tell me all about it in the comments below. We did it, Sea Girl Try. I'm Jamie, and you're on Girl.com, otherwise known as Bond, Craft Bond. That's what it says. All right, never mind. I put down the newspaper because, as you can see, the glue adhesive can get <laughs> uh, crazy. Hey guys, it's Jamie. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. I'm just kidding, that's just a cartoon. Hey, it's broken. <laughs> <laughs>